Hello, family. It's Ariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your March 2023 tarot reads, big baby. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder ropes. How you doing, baby? I hope you're doing super fantabulous and ready to enjoy this new month of energy coming in. So if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining and sharing your time and your space and your energy with us. So a little bit of the lineup of how these things will go. We are going to go into talking about some astrology and then we're going to break it down into an oracle read just for guidance for the overall month and then we're going to break it down into the signs, okay? Now, let's jump into this. On the second, we have Mercury entering into Pisces. Mercury is debilitated in Pisces. Think about like trying to talk under some water, okay? It's a little bit difficult. So this energy can also make us highly sensitive, okay? And can make us believe like everything. We'll have like rose colored glasses, believing things that we probably should not be believing. So look at the facts. Now, this is a great time, however, to sit down, get your creative ideas going and, and take some time to journal, to write and to create. Now, on the third, we have some interesting energy. We have Saturn, 29, 29 degrees Aquarius semi-sextile um pluto 29 degrees capricorn okay so saturn is this planet um that has our rules our regulations our government and laws and it's in the house of aquarius and this is the house of freedom humanity and rebellion with them being semi-sextile in the most anoretic degree which the 29th degree is known as an anoretic degree which is the degree of crisis or change so there we have this this planet of saturn we have rules we have rebellion going on and then it's kind of having this conversation with uh pluto and they're, ta they're talking about what needs to change pluto is this planet of transformation in the sign of capricorn which rules government and institutions and and rules okay so be ready for big breakthroughs this energy has been going on since february 11th to march 23rd lots of stuff popping off in the news okay on march 7th we have full moon in virgos 16 degrees 16 comes down to a seven this is the celestials telling us baby it's time to get it together okay this moon is known as the warm full moon i said worm okay like the little worm okay <laughs> and it means like literally the earth is starting to wake up we're, we're coming out of slumber okay and this moon is great for starting projects and, as we say, getting our lives together, okay? Saturn also will be entering into Pisces. This starts off a five-year transit, okay? And this, for me, I makes it... You remember that song, uh, Losing My Religion? That's the song that popped into my head when I saw this. We are really starting to question structures, rules, and order. And we're also having to rely on our faith to believe that things are going to be going well. I kind of think this is going to be a great awakening for people where they're starting to see things that they believed in at one time. And then they're, ha they're able to hold dualities are able to see things through different lenses now on march 11th juno the asteroid named after the goddess of marriage and the protector of women is coming on into taurus big baby okay so this for me symbolizes empress energy stability we want relationships to be more long term we're looking at the bigger picture here we want something that's going to be stable something that's going to move us to the next level couples can expect um a deeper level of trust and loyalty and communication and building a strong foundation together. Now, on the 12th, Jupiter will be 14 degrees Aries right next to Chiron. Like my, hey, Chiron, what's up? 14 degrees Aries. Jupiter expands. It, it makes things grow. It blesses. But it can, if it's expanding, it could expand good or it could expand bad. It depends on how you use the energy, right? Or whatever you want to think about that, right? Chiron is known as the wounded healer. And so Jupiter is trying to come in to heal things. So we might find some of our um, childhood wounds or things that we have not healed from kind of busted wide open, okay? And Jupiter's like, let me fix that. Let me bring this to the forefront so we can grow. Now, I also look at the number 14 as signifying individual individuality with a foundation which comes to change we are changing our foundation all right because 14 comes to a five so with times of change just know that it's never really super easy and we have to keep moving forward all right take be kind to yourself during this time and kind to others on the 16th a big baby venus is entering into taurus baby all right and venus loves being in taurus it's the ruler of taurus it's a beautiful time for love redecorating changing your look and just looking fabulous okay on the 
19th, Mercury, the planet of communication, is entering into that good old, good old guy named Aries, okay? And Aries is about taking charge and making it happen. So when this, this energy comes in, a lot of quick thinking, a lot of ideas, a lot of great ideas are going to be coming to your mind. Write them down, okay? But also think before you speak. Now, on the 20th, happy birthday, Aries. Happy, happy birthday. Happy spring equinox. Um, this is a great day to perform magic, and a lot of people believe this as being the real new year, okay? So you could do some new year rituals on this day to invite this energy in. Now, on the 22nd, we have on the 21st, um, new moon in Aries. All right, we are really making it happen. Okay, Aries got that big, big energy coming through. On the 22nd, we have Ceres um, going into going retrograde into Virgo. We could have issues of health, um, nutrition, finances, and assets coming to the forefront during this time. Now, on the 23rd, now we don't get tongue tied on this. Pluto enters into Aquarius. This is the end of an era for us, okay? Pluto first entered into Capricorn in 2008. And while it was in Capricorn this time, we've seen a lot of shifts and changes in the government. We've seen a lot of corruption come up. We've seen a lot of like just information coming to the forefront. Now, we are going to be going through kind of like a sneak peek for the next year because this transit will be in um, Aquarius for three months, okay? So we're going to experience a lot of revolution and rebellion. That doesn't mean like craziness. It's just like a lot of changes coming to the forefront. It's a sneak peek to let us know what 2024 to 204040 is going to look like. So pay attention to the themes that are arising in your life and in um, a greater scale also. On the 25th, Mars enters into Cancer. Mars, the planet of action, is in the in the home house, right? It's in the house of the home. Let me make sense here. The planet of action is coming into Cancer, and this is like we are ready to protect what is ours. We we worked for this, we've done this, and we're going to protect it. Okay. Now you may also be a little bit moody during this time, so just be kind to yourself and take your time as you move forward. And remember, think before you speak during this energy. So and watch your thoughts with all this Jupiter energy. Just just kind of watch your thoughts so that you can manifest what it is you truly want, not what you don't want. Now, little announcement. If you're interested in a reading, hit my link tree. Go join me on um, Instagram. I go live all the time. We can hang out. We can have fun. fun. We can have fun. We can have fun and be friends, okay? Now, with that being said, I will never DM you. I will never ask you for a donation, and I will never tell you you need a reading. Those are what we would call a scammer, okay? I'm not a scammer. <laughs> you got to come looking for me, big baby, all right? And then we can connect and have a great time. Don't forget we have the three-month special going on. You get a three-month reading just like a YouTube video, and then you have a 30-minute session. So go to my link tree, check that out, and let's get together and make the magic happen. So with that being said, let's jump into our oracle read. Hello, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Thank you for your patience. It's been a wild, wild month, but we're going to jump into your oracle read, and then we're going to break it down into the signs. How you guys doing? So let's start off with your ancestor uh, messages. I feel like there's a lot of uh, remembering who the F you are, <laughs> remembering how strong and amazing and great you are, and also knowing how far you have come. So this is also about finding your passion. What lights you up? What gets your desires going? What makes you feel good again and excites you about life? Because your ancestors said, remember who you are. Culture, resilience, and beliefs. Get back to basics. Getting back to you. Getting grounded. And the thing about the brown bear, the brown bear is about giving life again. Coming out of hibernation. Showing the world exactly who you are. All right. Now, they also want you to strengthen your gifts, whatever that gift is. If it's the gift of gab, if you're a great talker, if you're a therapist, if you're a painter, if you're an artist, or if you're just good at baking. I wish I was, you know, I, was, I wish I was a good baker. Okay, if you are, you should call me because I need some help. All right. And, and cooking, I'm still learning, guys. I'm still like, I'm, I'm one of those people that downloads all those Pinterest recipes and never makes them. But anyways... I still try. <laughs> Strengthen your gifts. Strengthen what God gave you. Make it your make it your all and enjoy life again, okay? Because they want you to be excited again. Have fun. What is your muse? What gets you going? The number 15 comes down to the number six. Six is a sixth house for me. That's what it makes me think. And in your everyday activities, going to work, coming back from work, being at work, cleaning your house, 
what excites you? What are some things that make you happy? I know music makes me happy. Um, calling friends makes me happy. So do those things more often and, and find out what are those gifts that your ancestors want you to do to create for yourself, like create more income or create more happiness, okay? Gratitude, learn to say thank you, boo, okay? Say thank you. <laughs> And your other message is that of the frog. This animal energy is coming in for you. It's very beautiful because it's it starts off in the water, right? And that's your place at home. And you're a water sign, okay? Ooh, not just wait. But then you eventually go to land and you're getting grounded and you're moving. But where do you go to cleanse? You go to the water. So, you know, I was looking at the at the what it says in the book, and when you're in balance, it says you're like so much fun, people love to be around you, life with a party, but when you're out of balance, you're running on empty and you get very moody possibly and you just feel down. But you know, in order to get things back into balance, it says go to a body of water. What makes you feel good, you know? Is it even just hearing the water? Is it a shower meditation? But it's about cleansing and clearing this month, okay? The planet that wants to play, <laughs> no other than Saturn. He's not very playful, but he's very good at making rules. Anyways, be realistic about what's concerning you at the moment. And you're going to have to wait a little bit and get everything in order before it's time to take action. Saturn is wanting you to mature and to grow and develop. And there's a little bit about caution, about rules implied, regulations, things of that order. It's like you might want to expand right now. And Saturn's like, before you get any bigger... Okay, let's make sure everything's in order. It's like no fun sometimes, but in the end, it's the best, okay? Your crystal is rodentite. Huh. Patience, seeking, and forgiveness. So this encourages you to look for answers, reduce self-doubt, and build confidence. Now, this is great for the heart chakra. It restores balance and helps resolve conflict. It also helps heal past trauma, especially relating to emotional abuse and feelings of abandonment. All right? And it promotes peace and in love. It works on a very subtle level with the body's vibrational patterns. And it works closely on functional problems such as joint, lungs, inflammation, arthritis. And it works with overall healing. Okay? Now, this crystal says it's time to stand back, water sign, and be real with yourself. What is your role in conflict? And are you willing to forgive? Now, forgiveness is something I think we all have an opinion about. And I'm, I always say forgiveness is more for you than it is for the other person. And forgiving doesn't mean that you go back and allow them to hurt you or keep harming you. All right. So just be mindful with that. All right. So water signs, that is your oracle for March. Let's get to the uh, question of the month. Okay. Question this month. Think of two questions in your mind's eye, and we're going to see what the Guardians of the Night got to say, okay? One, two, ew. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Pentacles, big baby, we are working, learning skills, busy bee energy, sweet ants, honey, and looking fine. I love it, I love it. So, ooh, these are good. Okay, for card number, for question number one, you have... The Empress. This is a yes. Create it. Do it. Protect it. Do what you got to do to make sure everything is being done the way it needs to be done. This is about you taking ownership, taking control, and being in the limelight. This is a yes. And if you're, for me, like if you're also thinking, is this a good person for me to be involved in? It's a yes. All right. Card, question number two. Okay. This is also a yes. It's time to change. It's time to grow. It's time to develop. It's time to move forward. Shed that old skin. Let the world see the real Cancer Scorpio Pisces that you are. Don't be shy and don't be afraid. You have a beautiful, beautiful month ahead of you. All right, let's see. We're going to use the Babylonian Tarot. We're going to break it down. And then we're going to cut it to the signs. Oh, do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm super hyper. My baby just went to the rodeo. She's going to go steam machine something, Kelly. I don't know. Y'all don't make fun of me because I don't really listen to music like that. I don't know. I like new one of his songs. It's like, oh, okay, that's cool. So that's where she's at in. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ay, ay, whoa. Scarp, where you going, baby? Call me. I want to travel, too. Ooh, maybe we're going to move. All right, let's see here. 
we have the tree of life this is known as temperance in this deck so this is saying we are going to grow we're going to shine and we're going to do it on our time okay so i'm looking at the bottom of the deck here let's go right here uh, one two three four five six seven seven is our number no, it was six over here. See, six. So, we're making the right decision. Love is in the air. That's what came to my mind. So, this is a time of big change for you. You are making a choice to move in a different direction. This is exciting. This is fiery. This is full of passion. This is creativity. But you're also protecting yourself with the firewall. Okay? He... Gira used to um, be an exorcist, okay? He used to get all the bad stuff. So I feel like you're like, Ew, you can't cross this line. I made a choice. I made a decision. And you're doing it just in time. It's like divine timing, perfect timing. Justice is going to be served. Lots of communication going on. Lots of movement. People are traveling, enjoying themselves. But there's a situation that feels kind of stuck. Okay, there's something going on. This is when the bull of heaven was waiting for Tammuz to get out of hell. And guess what? Ain't what nothing popping off for them. Okay? And he was just waiting. So this is a situation that if it's not working, guys, can that plan? And let's move on because we got to go. We got to keep it moving. The, the fates are telling us we got something better on the horizon. So let's jump into those reads. Hello, Scorpio. How are you doing, you sexy Scorpio? Let's jump into your reading. So, a little rough month, ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna like it's, it's super copacetic, but we're gonna see what's going on and how we're gonna move forward. So we have the Temperance card coming in for you. So I feel like this is a month of really paying attention to what's going on and how things are going. You're really defending yourself this month, defending for what you believe in. There's a lot of anxiety around how fast things are moving for you because two nines is about a move. So literally it could be moving or how fast like a job is moving, a relationship is moving, or what's going on for you, right? By the end of the month, I feel like there's a situation you've been really worried about and it wasn't as bad as you thought it was going to be. Yeah, so how exciting. Let's go ahead and start to clarify and let's see how these uh, cords talk to you, okay? So we're gonna go into, let's clear the energy, let's get a clarity card for the emperor, I mean for the temperance card the ninth might have been very important for you and there's something about a big big move okay so we have something big coming in this summer with temperance like you're birthing new things you're just excited you're excited for what there's the nine of wands but you're it's like oh, scorpio i'm getting frustrated like it's like you get all excited and then you're like no not gonna work it's not gonna work oh yes it is gonna work <laughs> it's wrong so there is a partnership a relationship something is coming through with the two of cups it's like you're super excited <laughs> and then you're like huh eh, huh like what is going on oh my gosh let's see here Let's see what we have going on here. I want to pull on this um, because in the summer, like I really feel like things are going to get hot in the summer for everybody that keeps coming out. Like the energy is going to be so hype. Okay, 901. What do we got for 901? So let's see. We got the tower. It's not bad, okay? The man and his heart. Oh, but he's blocked. Oh, your heart is blocked or their heart is blocked. So this is a man who works for a big agency. They could be working for um, the government, the city. They have a very um, stable job, okay? But And they want to give you their heart. They're, I feel like they're not sure about it. Or you're not sure about it. You're like, I don't know. I don't know, sir. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to offer. And if it's not his heart, they want to start a business. They want to start a business. So there's something about possibly meeting online. There's a lot of, um, they got the hashtag, the campanita for Facebook. Yeah. And talk about food a lot. A25 might be very important. Yeah. And a lot of online communication coming in for you. Okay. Um, there's this energy about a new moon also, so this person could reach out to you around the new moon, which is on the 21st, um, and kind of confess something to you, or you might be confessing something to someone else. So let's do a pick a card now for this beautiful nine of wands. Why is a sexy Scorpio, what's going on with these cards? Sexy Scorpio, what's going on here guys? Having to defend himself, Why he's got the power, you got the power, boo, you got it. What's going on? 
card one, card two. But what's looking at me is deceit. Mm. There's been a lot about uh, things coming out in the open this month. Like in all the readings, you would think that like I am like one of these loom and gloom readers who only talks, they're all crazy. Um, the cards are all cricket. Um, only talks about like snakes in the grass. Like what is going on? Like people's true colors are showing. So let's play a little game. Question, uh, not question, card number one or card number two for this Nine of Wands energy. Card number one, you're really fighting hard. If you want a happy family, you don't know what that's really going to necessarily look like for you, but you're all for it. You're like, look, I want it. I want to have this happy family. I want to be strong. I want it to be good. I want to be their king of wands. I want to be the king or they're the king, okay? I want to enjoy this. I want to have fun. <sighs> and then there's communication with the Eight of Wands. And the two of pentacles it's like how can i balance it all and it's you scorpio it's you with the death card how can i balance this you could be dealing with a fire sign maybe they're always busy with their family or with their work and you're just like i just want to talk i want to get things going i don't know how to do this this is so new for me and they're like this is so new for me too you feel like you have a lot of responsibilities going on i want to look at this um eight of wands anxiety the mice my goodness Anxiety about information about a possible new lover, okay, or a new offer. Let's just say an offer because this isn't about love. We're going to try to keep it, you know, but if it comes out, it comes out, okay, because I like love. And we want it to be stable. We want things to be strong. We want things to be okay. Let's look at this king of wands. What's up with them? They're hot. Yeah, it's the sun. Ew, I like it. With the number nine. Ew, that nine, 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 baby. Whew. You need a detox, you need a change, is there something that's got to give? And you want to go have fun, they're all about music, you're having a great time, the energy's flowing and going, everything is fun right now for you. But you're trying to find balance. Like, if you are trying to find balance, has been really hard. How can Scorpio find balance with the King of Pentacles? Okay, so you it's like action. Jackson over here with the king of wands and then having time for work. I want to have fun, but I have to work I don't know what to do and I'm like super excited and it's like you go like on your little roller coaster in your head it's like Scorpio sit down and calm down <laughs> Card number two You have the energy of I'm trying to look at the cards to see the dates if anything sticks out. Oh also also, I'm sorry, card number one, possible um, promotion at work, okay, possible promotion at work coming through for you. Like, I just noticed that double king came out, and you're trying to find the balance. You're going to be getting information about possible elevation in your career. I love it. All right, card number two, the garden and the gate. You're like, do I stay or do I go? And the answer is go, boo. Go get what you want, okay? No sitting around waiting for anti bati or anything. Go get your dreams, baby. Work is working. <laughs> King of Swords, you getting a promotion, boo. <laughs> You're getting a promotion. King of Swords coming through. Four of Pentacles. Okay, for some, if you don't get this promotion or you don't get what, what you feel you deserve, you're cutting these jerks off and you're out the door. Hmm. Snip, snip, deuces. Bottom of the deck is five of pentacles. I think you're afraid that they're kind of keeping money from you. You work really, really hard. You've been holding it down. And you're just like, I don't get it. And that could be where this deceit card comes in. That king of swords is very interesting. It's like almost like he doesn't want to do the dirty work. Give me clues on this king of swords. Who is this gentleman? He's all dried up. Okay, maybe he don't have no great ideas anymore. Um, he, he's the one who taught you something. There's it, all dressed up, looks the part, acts the part, is not the part. Wears really nice shoes. Shoes are like everything for him. I also feel like, um, I feel like there's a situation of like, the energy is getting old and stagnant with this individual and it's like they keep putting the same solutions on things but it's just not like you know we're in a modern world now okay 
and not a lot of people are using those old ways of business. All right, okay, moving on. We have an overbearing situation. Pay attention to the 15th. It could be important and the 16th. We're getting communication. The communication is coming in from the snake. Oh my God, I swear, the snake's been coming out. I've been shuffling in between and everything, but it's gonna be good for you. So I kind of feel like this person, and it's number nine again. I'm telling you, the ninth must have been hot and spicy for you, okay? The ninth was good for you. Now, this is what I get. If you don't get the raise, if you don't get the promotion, you're out. The person who's behind it is the king of swords. And I feel like that person is outdated and played out. Because they don't appreciate you. And you're like, if you don't appreciate me, I'm out. That's why you're defending yourself. Nine of Wands, what do we have? The Page of Pentacles. You've been working really, really hard. You deserve to be like the King of Pentacles, right? Like you deserve this. And you're like, look, I've been doing the work. Where, where does, where's, what's next? <laughs> this is why you work at home because I make really weird faces. I'd probably get fired at work. Anyways, Nine of Swords, Nine of Swords coming through for you. What does that mean? The Fool, we want a whole new world. King of Cups, baby. Look, four kings in your read. Four kings, boo. You about to take over the company, okay? This is your company now. <laughs> and then the moon, damn it. And the magician, okay. <sighs> You have worked really hard to get to where you're at. You deserve this recognition. You're getting this recognition, and then this person comes from the back. Okay? Not like that. <laughs> that came out really, really bad. But this person is coming from the back. They want to say something. There's really a lot of nines here. I really feel like you're closing out a section. The 18th could be very, very important for you also. Okay? The 15th, 16th, 17th, and 18th are like high, high power days for you. Okay? The 23rd. What is this moon about, moon? What do you got for us, moon? Strategy. Bam. We about to take them down. We got some strategies. We, you already know what they're doing. I'm getting excited. Hold on. <laughs> I'm getting too excited, Scorpio. Because you're about to own the company. <laughs> this is yours. This is all yours, friend. <gasps> this is good. Look, you're putting down the roots. Yeah, okay. For the brand new beginning, major crossroads for you. Major, major decision about a burden. Okay, you're like, do I stay? Do I go? Some of you are contemplating moving. I know that we're only in March, but I think May 13th, May 22nd, huge dates for you. Okay, I already forgot the other dates I gave you this month. Okay, I said the, I don't know, I said the 15th, 16th, 17th. And the ninth. Okay. So, four kings in your read, baby. You are ruling this situation very well known. I think that's why you're afraid. You're afraid they're going to, like, bamboozle you. Let's go to the king of cups. King of cups. King of cups. No, you know what? What's up with this moon? What's up with the moon? Okay, I started from the bottom. <laughs> Look at you now. Somebody's talking a lot about money okay I want to say that this person has a very fluid uh, way of looking if you know what I mean and very interesting hair but they talk a lot and they always like to remind you oh yeah remember where you started again the 15 right there they're gonna appreciate you financially there's gonna be a financial gain for you coming in very very quickly okay ten of arrows so they try to bamboozle you but you're very strategic baby like your strategy is sexy I like it I like it a lot it's really hot king of cups give me a clue high priestess you trusted your intuition baby you are on point it's almost like your psychic abilities just took over and now you're now you own the company. That's, that's your read. You own the company now. It's yours. <laughs> the Ten of Arrows says the Knight of Pentacles coming in. So I do feel like there's a, a little different offer coming in. Ten of Swords. Ugh. And there's the Queen of Swords. She cutting it off. And justice will be served. So I feel like be ready, be prepared. There's somebody who's going to try to bamboozle you, take you from the back, okay? I'm going to watch how I say it. But there's something that's coming through. I do see that it's somebody who's very jealous of you, more than likely an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or Gemini coming in. <laughs> What's that take your, they want to take your space, boo. 
but they can't because you are all that you're all the kings right now can't take it it's all you let's see queen of swords very selfish um i want to say likes to be the shining star and they have a lot of skeletons in their closet you know about them okay and they live in a false reality it's like are we playing the same game bro like <laughs> come on my guy like what are we doing makes no sense where is this coming from but you're gonna be very strategic in this situation you're gonna get that promotion it's yours get the f outside move your body okay you need to get out of this you got to get out of the situation and don't force it. Everything is going to come to you. You don't have to act a fool. You don't have to act silly. Be very strategic. This person is, they're, they're going to give it to you by the summer. And you're going to fall in love. What? Damn, Scorpio! Like your whole life has changed. You're going to get the promotion, own the company possibly, fall in love. Okay, call me Scorpio. I'm down for living a good life too, okay? We can live it together. Anyways, this is what I have for you, my friend. This is a beautiful read. Promotion, good information coming in. Just pay attention to the snakes in the grass because they're there. They're sneaking around. And if you're interested in hearing about a love and money, head on over to the next video and let's hang out, all right? So... Also, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should just go ahead and be my friend so we can be friends for a long time. All right. Take care. Be blessed and keep your eye on the snakes. OK, because they're coming for you, because when you're when you're doing well and you're elevating. Oh, baby, there's plenty of haters out there and you got a ton, baby. You have a ton. But don't forget, justice will be served. Take. Oh, oh, my justice for Scorpio. Do you see that justice for Scorpio? Now we're done. Have a blessed month. Bye.